Hi, my name is Franz and I've been on the road traveling for the last six years. Hey guys, today I will show you how to live on an island. Tonga is a Polynesian kingdom with more than 170 islands. I worked in exchange of food and accommodation in many countries, and one of them was Tonga. Exactly this island, Uoleva. To get there, I took a plane from New Zealand. Then, another tiny plane from the capital, Nukualofa, to Haapai. The airline ticket was handwritten by the staff. Then, I took a car from the airport to the harbor. Then, I took a boat to finally arrive in Uole. <laughs> I stayed in this island for two weeks. Besides five resort owners and their guests, the island is uninhabited. There are no roads on Woleva. Electricity is only generated by small scale solar panels. And water is available only from rainwater collection tanks. The first concern of living on an island with no infrastructure is to eat. In the Pacific Islands, fish are the main source of food. So the first thing I learned was to use the fishing pole. Tonight I'm gonna fish like a guy in the Pacific Islands. We went to the water at night because the fish sleep and it's easier to catch. Just came back from fishing, I catch two and missed two. <laughs> We caught lobster, eel, crab, and all sorts of fishes. Some they cooked in the grill. Others they cooked on the ground. If you don't eat fish, you still have two options, coconut or breadfruit. Getting the coconut is not an easy task at all. If you manage to stay alive after climbing the tree, you still have to open the coconut. Locals will open it so easily, but if it's your first time trying, you will struggle for sure. The breadfruit is very common in the region of the Pacific. They can be eaten fresh, grilled, fried or even boiled. In the worst case scenario, you can catch some clams in the beach. But I can tell you in advance, they are not really tasty. Mmm, tasty. Tastes like sand. Mm. <laughs> After you have your belly full, you got to find a place to sleep. During the day, you can rest in the hammock, but at night, the mosquitoes go crazy. We slept in a tent, but we're starting to build small houses in wood for future guests. Since there is no infrastructure in the island, it is important to think consciously in the waste management. If you eat things, at some point they go out. So we learn how to build a compost toilet, where worms were responsible for decomposing the human waste. This water is rainwater pumped. This as well. And here we have an eco-friendly toilet. So it's a dry toilet where if you pee, it goes into this hole and this hole goes into the earth. And if you do other things, you need, after you do these things, you put a scoop of this, a little bit. For garbage, it was a huge hole where we would throw most of the waste and burn. We also made other activities, such as building a hermit crab hotel, 
cleaning up the island that was always full of coconut waste, rearranging the sand in front of the eco resort, painting some signs, putting some clove oil for extra mold resistance in the tents, gardening, playing with the dogs, and cleaning up the compost toilets. The job for today is cleaning compost toilets. Hey, for my birthday! We also enjoyed our free time doing some kayaking and swimming. If you want to learn more about long-term and budget travel, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the island life. See you soon.